Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy, Roth Candy out. Got a beautiful weekend here to end July. Gorgeous mid-80s, uh, low humidity. I mean, just lots of sun. Amazing. It's a tennis weekend. It is a tennis weekend. I'm uh, I'm just telling you that. Uh, I will be out and about uh, hitting around uh, the rackets and the balls with my uh, daughter, and we'll be doing that and then uh, of course uh, taking part in some festivities this weekend with some friends and family and gonna be a lot of fun uh so walker hayes next thursday still tickets available long island community hospital amphitheater bald hill we want you to be there ticketmaster.com make sure you get on there uh we are also excited about midland august 16th at mulcahy's that's a big show moles.com m-u-l-s.com i know mulcahy's uh, hosting a uh, like a VIP contest on their Instagram. You can go check out. And Sam Hunt, limited tickets left for that show August 21st. Sam Hunt, Ryan Hurd, Lily Rose, August 21, Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater, Bald Hill. We just released some new seats, you know, different venues. This happens all over the country and the world with different venues sometimes. There's production changes, uh, new seats open up, or seats that were held for the artist, or whatever the case is. Um, There are less than a couple of hundred, um, and those fly. Every time we've put some new tickets out there, they've just been flying. That show should be sold out real soon, Um, and officially kind of already was, but there are a few tickets up there. You want to see Sam Hunt, I would suggest uh, get there to Ticketmaster sooner then later national days today it is national chicken wing day absolutely you know it's got to be the right uh chicken wing the right place you know the right seasoning um i will say we love uh rudy's wings you know rudy's bar and grill we've done a bunch of events there they have incredible wings i mean maybe the best on the island rudy's and patchog amazing uh national lasagna day who knew Dana, my wife, was in the mood for lasagna. She told me to buy the ingredients yesterday. She made lasagna. It was amazing. Um, And today turns out to be National Lasagna Day. That's cool. National Lipstick Day. Okay, anyone who's wearing it, go get yourself some lipstick. National Talk in an Elevator Day. No thank you. I try to stay away. Put me in the corner. You stay on your side. Don't breathe. Leave me alone, turn and face the wall. No need to talk in an elevator, but it is national talk in an elevator day. National System Administrator Appreciation Day. This is your IT person. Uh, They keep the office running. Of course, that's the first person you call. You have a computer issue, uh, something, and the smallest thing, you call your IT person, right? National System Administrator Appreciation Day. And this is just absurd they have national days for just about anything national get gnarly day now the word gnarly can mean uh, bad disgusting dangerous but also means challenging like a surfer with challenging waves they call them gnarly and get gnarly day means go out and tackle something maybe you've never tackled before and do something exciting on get gnarly day if you're so inclined Uh, As we always do, we like to uh, end the show every day, with or without candy, with some good news. Um, This is great. Citizens of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, are excited because a single stalk of corn is growing in front of a home through a small crack in the concrete. It's just over a foot tall, and the owner of the house says it's literal street corn. I don't know. This is what they're getting excited about in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The same thing happened about five miles away in Sioux Falls back in 2020. Uh, Locals there called it a kernel of hope. Um, And then some punk in the middle of the night uprooted it and it was gone. But there must not be much going on in South Dakota. The future of pregnancy might be monitoring your unborn baby on your smartphone. MIT engineers, right, and we are not fooling around here. This is not just some local guy developed. This is MIT, 
Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Engineers have developed a stamp-sized sticker that when placed on your body can produce high-resolution images of fetuses as well as the heart, lungs, and other organs. Now, you know, I don't know what the, you know, people are going to become self-diagnosing and become their own doctors. And I and who, has MIT, you know, said that this stamp doesn't cause uh, health problems? You know, hopefully it does not. But supposedly uh, it's in the works and it is, uh, it doesn't cause any damage and uh, can also be used to diagnose health issues, not just for looking at your baby and whatever, but can uh, see the progression of tumors and things like that. So something to look at. And earlier this month, police in New York came to the rescue of a young deer, which got its leg caught in a chain link fence. The cops used their batons to widen the gap in the fence and posted the video of the rescue on Facebook. A, uh, a beautiful thing. Wonderful. Uh, that's it for the week. Enjoy the gorgeous weekend. I'm here Monday and Tuesday. Candy returns Wednesday. Uh, We'll be back together. She's got a few days off. I want everyone to have a a glorious weekend. The weather is just phenomenal. So uh, get out, do something fun. And remember next week, Walker Hayes, Thursday, Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater at Bald Hill, Ticketmaster.com. Mid-80s, gorgeous. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.